Hi guys, welcome back. Before this is section three, we're gonna create a node app with Express and Mongoose. Uh, before watching this section, I recommend you guys to watch the intro section and section one and section two. So in this section, uh, I will be going rather quicker so as I mentioned in the previous sections, if you guys need any in-depth, uh, please let me know. I can create uh, in-depth videos on any of the parts you want in-depth uh, tutorial. Uh, first off, we need to install the dependencies. So this obviously needs uh, Express. You can type in npm i for install and uh, we need express mongoose and body parser and save it as dependencies uh, once you have done that uh, go ahead and uh, create a new file uh, called server.js you can give whatever name you want um, and in addition uh, install the node mon and uh, do that as install that as global so this helps so it will run in a watch mode so when you run the node server what are you going to do is node mon server and whenever you make any change on that file it will restart the node server automatically it helps with the development um, so let's go ahead and uh, start working on this server.js file um, I was in the wrong folder, so let me go to So first off we need to bring in all the dependencies so let me get express require express and we need to bring in the HTTP module uh, that is one of the native modules so that is part of the node so we don't have to install install HTTP to get HTTP um, and get the path module that is a built-in module then we need to get the mongoose and we need to get the body parser And we need to have a port uh, so we can look at the on the environment whether there's a port defined if it is then use that if it is not defined then we're going to default to port number 3000 then we're going to create our app express app called the express method and we're going to create the server pass the app in there typo let me correct that server and we need to set up our a static folder so to do that we're gonna app.use so static folder what is going to be our static folder so first off um, we need to do the ng build um, and you can uh, 
put that in the watch mode so that whenever something changes it will run automatically so ng build is gonna uh, create the build um, so if you look at the angular cli dot json file so out directory is going to be dist so it's going to create a dist folder and put all the uh, bundles and all the distributable files in there and we will be having an index.html there that is going to be our starting file so in here we're going to set up our static folder so call the express.static method and and pass our uh, static folder so to do to do that i'm going to call the path dot join join method and in here i'm going to pass the dir name that's going to be current folder and uh, our static folder name so that is dist so by default it will pick up the index.html in there so as long as we run this server uh, listen to port number whatever port we we have so with that our server well, let us start this server and we should be able to see our app so in here let me say node mon server that should start our server and if you go to localhost 3000 we should see our angular app in there cool that is nice so next stop we're gonna connect to our mongodb database so in section two we created our mongodb database um this is the database i created so we don't i don't have a user yet so let me add a user so click on the add database user and give a user name and a password and copy this connection string go to the server.js and um, call the mongoose.connect and pass in the connection string and uh, give the username uh, you have created for me it is test user and the password I provided and let's put a call back in there so if it is connected I want to make sure so with that uh, we should be connected to the MongoDB database if everything yes we are connected so nodemon automatically started the server again or uh, picked up the latest server.js and we see the connected message in there so next stop we need to create a um, mongoose schema so we are using the mongodb database it is a document database there is no real schema in the database but with mongoose on the code level we can have schema like table like structure so that makes things a lot easier so let me close that so let me create another folder uh, let me call it as models and let me create another file in there inside the models let me cd into models and create a file there let me call it as to do.js and uh, in there we're gonna create the model a to do model so, so first uh, I need to bring in the mongoose
and let's create a, a to do a schema and we need to give the schema definition so let's call that as uh, kind of a column name so we can think of we're going to have a to do table uh, uh, there's no real table in mongodb but we can think of like virtually we can think of there's a table there called to do and it's going to have a column name description and that's going to be a type uh, string that's pretty much it for time being so then we're gonna create a to do model and give a name so the MongoDB will be creating a collection uh, with this name whatever we provide in here and pass in the schema to the schema and export that export the model and import this uh, file into the server.js And we're going to add a couple of uh, EPA endpoints in here. Um, so first off, we need to create the add the to do. So we need to have a post and let me call that as a to do. So in here we're going to use the to-do model so let, let's just give a sample data in here so for the description let's pass a test data and called the to do dot save so this AP endpoint this is a post endpoint so whenever we call it it will add a new document to the collection so the uh, mongoose will create a collection called to do and the save will create a new collection um, with a property description and the value test data so let's go to our angular side of things and let us call this API endpoint so let me go in there onto our to do component.ts um, Oh, I already have the call in there. Um, so basically, you need to bring in the HTTP client and um, add it to the constructor. 
and call the post method so in here you pass the uh, call the uh, to do um, API endpoint and in here we are passing the value uh, so the value comes from whatever we enter in the text field so we call the add to do method and we pass in the to do that is a template variable uh, dot value that uh, will pass whatever value we enter on the text field so with this uh, we need to add one more thing so now we are getting the right value from the UI so we don't have to pass the sample data in here but how about we go ahead and try first whether test data is getting uh, inserted into the MongoDB uh, document if that is working then we need to add a couple of more things because we need to parse the body whatever the uh, uh, data comes in the body we need to add a couple of more lines to grab the data from the body but time being let's try what's happening whether the data is getting inserted so right now in the MongoDB we don't have any collections there uh, if things are working so when, when we we don't have to add anything but let me just let me open the network tab whether and making sure whether it is making the api call let me click on the add button it didn't do anything huh let me do a quick review of the code we have so we call the add to do method add to do method calls the post and to do api endpoint uh, what we can do is uh, we can use the postman so let me use the postman to make so post method um, we can use the postman to and on the EP Once the save is done, let us Wow, it is it is working so that should insert it created the to do document and in there we can see the test data got inserted with the description the API endpoint is working um, the UI part we need to check what is happening uh, let me finish the section in here so we're gonna work on um, connecting the API and making the get request to get the data and we, we will be doing the wiring up the APIs on the UI on the next section as well as adding the socket.io See you guys on the next section.